What exactly do you have in mind? I think me and some of my colleagues are worried about this massive amount of data that's being collected, manipulated, sometimes that's misleading, and ends up uh, maybe compromising some of our privacy rights. And when you have these tech companies that have come to dominate the market share, they essentially are akin to the monopolies of old. And so we as state AGs are taking a look at maybe whether we should do something, and if so, what should be done. Why now? Why all of a sudden? This has been out there for a while now. Well, I, I think as you all recognize, you know, there's an old saying that tech is the new oil. And what we've seen is a, a more and more concentration or higher concentration in just a couple of companies in the tech industry. And as a result of that, they have the ability to manipulate the news feeds we get. They have a, an, an ability to manipulate what type of advertising we see or don't see, the way they nudge us, the way that they can manipulate us with the programs we're using. And then ultimately, when you have companies that control 90% of the market share, you know, once again, now we're talking about something that's akin to the standard oil of 100 years ago. And as Justice Brandeis uh, said before he was on the Supreme Court, anytime you get companies that are that big, it becomes a threat to democracy. To what extent um, are you going to be restrained in looking at these practices by just what users agree in their user agreements, which are notoriously dense and long and nobody reads them, uh, but exactly what types of breaches might you be uh, probing here? Well, and that, that's, that's an excellent question because that's a big part of the problem. Very often, consumers don't know what they're agreeing to. And as state AGs, we are on the front line of protecting our consumers, the consumers in our respective states. And so I would... I would submit to you that consumers don't know what they're submitting to. Um, there's famous stories where people have agreed to terms and conditions where they're granting their immortal soul to some game company, and they don't even know they're doing that because those they're, they're so laborious, they're so intense, no one knows what's going on. Very often, um, you know, in, in the past with Facebook, it took 20 clicks or more just to opt out of something. And so I think we as a consumers, we have an inherent right to privacy and dignity as all human beings. So we have a right to know what's being collected how it's being collected, what it's being used for, I would submit to you that we have a property right. We have a property interest in our data and our information. And God knows whenever there's a data breach, that, that creates a threat to identity theft and our security. And, um, you know, very often the companies don't seem to care. So, so as AGs, we have to worry about not only consumers as far as how their information is being collected, but also how it's being stored and how it's being traded and what's being done with it. But, you know, federal regulators are kind of all over this right now as well. And when it comes to actually action that could be taken, breaking them up, levying huge fines for violating privacy, that comes at the federal level. So what, as a state regulator, could you do about it? Well, I will tell you what, why don't you talk to the folks at Theranos, um, where we successfully sued them in state court about what state regulators, regulators can do. Talk to Volkswagen when they tried to get our case dismissed in Arizona state court. They were unsuccessful. They, we ended up successfully suing them and getting millions of dollars back to individual Arizona consumers. So the state AGs are the front line. We are there to protect our consumers. And I would submit to you, quite frankly, Washington, D.C. has been, at least in the last decade, where good ideas go to die. And just kind of going back to the previous question, this is why I think you're seeing more state AGs concerned about this issue because of the inaction or the inability of the bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. to do anything about protecting individual Americans, their privacy rights, how they're being manipulated when it comes to news feeds and news coverage, and what's being done even sometimes with our children, and how they're being manipulated with applications and programs, and what their privacy rights, how their privacy rights are being violated. Which companies specifically are you looking into? Um, well, you know, right now, some of our, we have formal investigations going on, so I can't comment on individual companies. Um, there have been some recent articles published. There was a letter that we sent to Facebook, which is a public record. But I will assure you that no matter how big the company is, that if they are violating the rights of Arizonans, we're going to take a look at them, and we will come after them hard in the courtroom if that's appropriate.